Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at an Uber SQL data analyst interview question. I'm gonna jump on my computer and show you how to solve this problem. All right, so here's the question it is based on data lemur. So this is the same question as number 11 in the SQL chapter of this book. I definitely gotta read this one day, but assume you're given a table on Uber transactions made by users, write a query to obtain the third transaction of every user. Okay, so I'm just gonna write this over here. We can comment out this select statement and let's put our first comment. So you know, find a third transaction. So first thing I'm thinking of is we're gonna have to use a rank function and we're gonna have to do an order by a specific date or whatever field it has over there. And then what we can do is we can put that with an a with, um, and then we can just query that outside of it. So we have a table transactions, which that's right over there. And that's the only table. Okay, so it's not too bad. This is an example right here, user ID. So 111, 111, 121, 145, 111. And then we're doing only the third. So that 111, which is 8960, and then the specific uh, transaction date. So, all right, we, we, I think we can pretty much solve this. Not too bad. So let's start off with writing our with statement out. I'm, I'm gonna put the with statement outside of the select once I figure out this. You always gotta check, make sure it works properly. Uh, so let's select everything that we need to get first. So what we're going to do is select our user ID. So we'll select our user ID, spend, and also our transaction date, date, and then from, and then we're going to grab this table, which is transactions. And let's put our commas at the end of these and let's tab these over. And then we're going to work on the rank statement. So let's work on this rank. So we could technically use rank row number or dense rank since there's not gonna be any ties on this table, but I think rank is pretty easy to use. So we're gonna use rank over. And what we're gonna to have to do is partition by these specific user IDs. That way we can separate them and they have their own specific ranks. So we're gonna partition by user ID. And then we're gonna to have to order by this transaction date. So that way, like this would be ranked one, this would be ranked number two, and this would be ranked number three. So then you can do order by, and then we'll put in this transaction dates, just like that. And then we should also have this in ascending because we wanna have the earliest transaction first. So sending, and then we'll just put Uber call or something like that. It doesn't really matter. So let's run this code and I'll show you how it works. So 111, you can see one, 111, two, and 111, three. So this is the one that we're gonna want. You can see that over in the example output. And then 121, this has a rank of three as well. So we're gonna want that one. And then 145 only goes up to two. And then 263 here at the bottom does have a three. So what we can do now is we can have our with statement. So with, we'll just put over here, Uber data as, Let's throw all this inside over here. We'll drop that. We can throw that in over here. Tab it out. To make sure it's a lot easier to read. And just to make sure that with statement works, select star from Uber data. Run this code again. You can see it all specifically works. Great. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to grab specific stuff once again. So user ID, spend, and transaction date. And I could do a select star, but you know, for performance wise, it's not always best to have a select star. And then what I'm gonna do here is have a where clause. So we're gonna do where Uber call equals three. And that's gonna get us our third specific transaction for each of the different users. So again, you could use select star there, but I'd rather just write them out. So we're in code and you can see we have three over here, 111, 121, 263. Let's just check the output. So example output, we have our user ID first, then we have spend and then we have transaction date. I think this all looks good. Let's submit it and then we'll go over the code one more time. So congrats, this has been accepted, awesome. So. What we're doing over here is we're grabbing the basic data from the table. We're gonna rank each specific row uh, based off of the transaction date. We're doing that in ascending and we're partitioning it by a user. So that way it's not just a blank rank ranking based off the transaction date. 
with no input on these side of things. And then we're throwing this within a width. We're selecting directly from this width over here. And we're just filtering where this rank is three with that Uber call. And pretty basic, just like that. Hope you found this question helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe to the channel because it does help out the YouTube algorithm. By the way, you should go watch this video right here where we solve a Snapchat SQL interview question.